at Schuring and I'm a clinical scientist in molecular pathology and in addition professor in molecular oncological pathology. In the new era that we're living in is now to look at the genetic abnormalities that we see in a tumor and that's my job to take care that the technology needed to identify the genetic abnormalities specific for these cancers for more than a lung cancer that is really helping now to better classify and, and define what is the best treatment for patients. And the research that I'm doing is mainly focused not to be very fundamental, that's how I started in the beginning of my career, but now what we're doing is bringing in new technology, new understandings, and if the research works well, then we have uh, hopefully immediately a test that we can introduce into the diagnostics. So the work we're doing is very close to diagnostics, and hopefully we can, by that way, improve uh, diagnostics uh, in, in time. So the first thing we did is to set up uh, droplet digital assays for specific for each of the patients. So we had 100 different PCR reactions and we use that technology because that's quantitative and can be used on to detect low amounts of DNA in blood plasma to see whether we can measure and quantify the amount of DNA shedded in the bloodstream. In fact, what we note, what we saw and published is that we can uh, indeed use this technology to identify those patients that have uh, a longer overall survival. So if we see a decrease after six weeks of the levels of CTNA, mesh droplets, digital PCR, then these group of patients live much longer and do better on the treatment, immunotherapy treatment, compared to those that have an increase or do not show this decrease. How you can use a simple methodology based on the, the information that we have from the tumor sequencing, which is done uh, in most of the cases for diagnostic purposes, so we have that information. And the uniqueness of this assay is that it's, a, yeah, it is a, a multi nano drop technology, which gives a very high specificity and sensitivity to identify low copy numbers of uh, mutations. That's uh, the DNA that is shed into the DNA in the bloodstream from, from cancer patients, the amount is really very tiny. It's less than 0.1%, so we need technology which is very sensitive. Meanwhile, that the, the drop digital bio, bio rat assay has become quite uh, broadly used in the, in the world. It's, uh, it's not our lab only doing that. But the different mutations that you have to develop works also very nice. So if you have a patient with a certain mutation and we set up a new assay with the DDPCR, then I have to say normally it works uh, in the lab immediately. So, and that makes it a very easy to use and handle technology. And finally, I think it's important that it's, uh, it's, it's relatively cheap assay. Now the contact is not only buying the stuff from, from uh, BioRat, from the global office, uh, there is some interest, uh, have some, some, some connections already for many years now, that help me and think, we think together on how to develop best these kind of assays in the setting of CTD monitoring. And the contacts that I have there are really great, uh, uh, open to both sides. And I'm also looking in the future, uh, because mitrilation, detection by droplets, digital is a new challenge that we're looking for. And again, uh, people from BioRat uh, popped in with new technology that they're developing at the moment to see how we can collaborate in that aspect.